In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po muli dito sa Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. To prepare ourselves to offer this holy sacrifice to the Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pause for a while. We call to mind our sins and shortcomings, and we sorry for them. <clears throat> you are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners. Christ the mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord sent Nathan to David, and when he came to him, Nathan said, Judge this case for me. In a certain town, there were two men, one rich, the other poor. The rich man had flocks and herds in great numbers, but the poor man had nothing at all, except one little ewe lamb that he had bought. He nourished her, and she grew up with him and his children. She shared the little food he had and drank his cup and slept in his bosom. She was like a daughter to him. Now. The rich man received a visitor, but he would not take from his own flocks and herds to prepare a meal for the wayfarer who had come to him. Instead, he took the poor man's ewe lamb and made a meal of it for his visitor. David grew very angry with that man and said to him, As the Lord lives, the man who has done this merits death. He shall restore the ewe lamb fourfold, because he has done this and has no, had no pity. Then Nathan said to David, You are the man, thus says the Lord God of Israel, The sword shall never depart from your house, because you have despised me and have taken the wife of Uriah, Uriah to be your wife. Thus says the Lord, I will bring evil upon you out of your own house. I will take your wives while you live to see it, and I will give them to your neighbor. You shall lie with your wives in broad daylight. We have done this deed in secret, but I will bring it about in the presence of all Israel and with the sun looking down. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan answered David, The Lord on his part has given your sin. You shall not die. But since you have utterly spurned the Lord by this deed, the child born to you must surely die. Then Nathan returned to his house. The Lord struck the child that the wife of Uriah had borne to David, and it became desperately Ill. David besought God for the child. He kept a fast, retiring for the night 
to lie on the ground clothed in sackcloth. The elders of his house stood beside him, urging him to rise from the ground, but he would not, nor would he take food with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Free me from the blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Please stand. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in a boat just as he was. And the other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep in a caution. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Jesus woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with, awe, with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even the wind and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Sa ebanghelyong narinig natin, yung sa last sentence, napaganda, no? Na namangha pa rin yung mga disipulo na kahit yung storm, yung dagat, ay kumalma. Ah, may kapangyarihan pala itong si Jesus. Despite the days na sama-sama sila, nakita nila ang ginagawa ni Jesus, ah, binuhay ang patay, nakakita itong mga bulag, kung ano-ano pa man, nakatagang kahanga-hanga, kamangha-mangha, ano? Yeah. Natakot pa rin sila sa pangyayari dito sa gospel natin. Natakot sila sa tsunami, no? Nakita rin nga doon, oy, pumapasok na ang tubig sa, sa bangka, katapusan na natin. Kaya si Jesus, sabi nga sa gospel, nagpapahinga, yun lang time niya magpapahinga, sa pagod siguro, nakatulog, ginising siya. Kaya anong sabi po ganun? Of course, pinakalma niya muna yung dagat at pinakalma niya rin yung mga katauhan ng mga disipulo, katayuan. Why are you terrified? I am with you. Yan. Napakaganda po ng gospel. Napakagandang paalala sa atin. Nasa harap, 
hindi lamang tukso. Unos ng buhay, laging nandiyan ang Diyos. Basta huwag nating kalilimutan siya. Napakadali pong kalimutan ng Diyos. Tayo'y nalulunod kapag merong mga problema na sa tingin natin, napakabigat, parang walang solusyon, parang kakatapusan na ng lahat. Totoo yun, no? Halalo na kung tumatanda na tayo. No? <laughs> Lagi tayong ginugulo. Kasi ang unang kalaban natin, hindi ang demonyo, kundi ang ating kaisipan. Kapag nag-isip ka na nag-isip, at yung iniisip nyo, eh hindi sa patungo sa tunay na daan, eh talagang mahihirapan ka. Hindi lamang, hindi lamang may stress, mararamdaman ng katawan, manghihina ka, at yung pinakamasama, sisisihin mo ang Diyos. Lagi mo nang sabihin, ba't ba ako lagi nalang hinahamo ng Diyos? Bakit yung tanong Diyos? Kung kailan akong papakabait, lalo na magiging masama yung mga katabi ko. Na not so and so, so and so, but nangyayari po yan. Huwag natin itanggi. Kahit sino, kahit yung mga mga naging santo nung mga unang panahon. Of course, gaya ng mga talambuhay nila, usually mga demonyo, no? <laughs> Balo sila, sinisidyos, sinitem. Eh tayo sa panahon ngayon, no? Napakaraming pagsubok, napakaraming unos na sa tingin natin, yun nga, sabi ko, baka malunod tayo kung wala tayong kinakapitan. Lain lang yung tinatawag natin, pagtitiwala sa Diyos. At ang pagtitiwala sa Diyos, ay nakikita po natin yan, nararamdaman yan. Kapag huwag tayong bumigay, o rumit mag uh, kapag tayo sumuko, no? For example, sabi na, ilang ko na itong naririnig, hirap sa tayo, nagrihirap sa pagkain. Wala na yung masama kung lumapit ka sa iba na maaring tumulong, makakain, tindi. Kasi po, wala pong, kahit na ngayong panahon ng pandemya, walang panamot. Lalo pang nakikita natin yung pagdamayan ng mga tao sapat nararamdaman nating lahat yung hirap. Kahit anong yaman mo, yun nga lang paalala sa kanila, you share, yun pinakamagandang gagawin mo. Sapkat, hindi yan mauubos yung kaimanan mo. The more, dan darating yan. Kasi the more you give, the more you receive. Yung, yun ang ginagawa ng Diyos sa atin. Bakit? Sapkat, napakaganda nating instrumento na tumulong sa iba. Hindi lamang natin natutulungan yung ating sarili. At sabi ko nga, kaya yung mga mga unos, yung mga tukso, yung mga hamon sa atin, may eh karaniwang laging yan, nandiyan sa utak natin. Hindi tayo pinapakawalan. Siguro, yung gawa-gawa yun ng demonyo. Ngunit, <laughs> pagbibigyan natin, sabi ko nga, ano pa, hindi lalo tayo manghihina sa halip na labanan, sa halip na gumawa ng paraan, eh talaga naman may mga pamamarako gugustoy natin, di ba? Kapag, kapag buhay tayo, gising tayo, merong posible na may magagawa tayo para ma, madaanan natin itong sinasabi natin unos o hamon sa ating buhay. Isa pa, isang nakakabagay na nakakalimutan natin. Di ba hindi lamang ito ngayon nangyari sa buhay natin? na nangyari na rin ito, the same similarity siguro, nung mga past years, no? Na ganun din ang pakiramdam natin. Ngunit, oh, nalabanan, nakaraos, <laughs> nandito pa rin tayo, no? Kaya yun ang, huwag ka natin kalimutan, isipan mo, yun, hindi lang natin binigyan ng kunting atensyon na hindi tayo pinapabayaan ng Diyos kapag tayo nagising. Talagang meron pa rin tayong misyon. Ito yung misyon, hindi na kailangan hanapin. No? Magagawa natin kahit sa anong pamamaraan. Hindi na higit sa lahat yung tingnan lang natin yung ating sarili ko na ang ating magagawa. Lalong-lalo na yung, of course, umpisa natin kung paano natin tutulungan yung ating mga sarili. Kaya, for example, may nakausap ko minsan, 
Wala na sakit sakit ng pako. <laughs> Naisip ko rin. Ay, lagi rin sumasakit ng pako. Parang gusto niya raw mamatay. <laughs> so, ang sagot ba ng sakit ng pa? Mamatay? <laughs> o putuli ng pa? Tingnan mo muna, bakit sumasakit ng pa mo? Ang takaw mo sa... Ah, uh, chicha ng bulaklak. <laughs> sa dituguan. Hindi ba yun ang bagay na siyang nagpasakit? Sinabi na doktor, hindi ka pa rin niniwala na yung talagang source ng iyong sakit. So may mga gagawa ka para maalis yun, kahit pa kunti-kunti. Kung tututukan mo lang, niniwala ka, na magkakaroon ng magandang mangyayari. So ganun din, sa anumang bagay na ginagawa na din sa mundo, hindi po nakakasayang ang araw-araw. Kaya pinagyayaman natin yun. Pilit nating nilalabanan yung hamon, yung matanong sa Diyos kung bakit ganito ang nangyayari. Wala pong mangyayari talaga. Kailangan gum gumawa tayo. Apo nga't kumilas tayo, ayan, pararamdaman nyo, makikita nyo ang awa ng Diyos. Huwag natin ikaw ng Diyos. No? Ngayon na, ngayon mo na ibigay. Hindi. May paraan ang Diyos kung kailan ito ang makakabuti sa atin, no? Kung baka, kung talagang ang Diyos ay mapagbigay sa lahat ng oras, alam ko, magdasal tayong lahat, manalo tayo sa loto, hati-hatian natin. <laughs> Maganda, pero hindi, no? <laughs> ang layo ng, ng tsyansa ni isa man dito sa lunis simbahan na manalo sa loto kung hanggang doon lang ang panaginip mo, no? Ngunit kapag sinabi natin sa Diyos na, sana maginawayan ang ating buhay pag sa loob, sa labas ng simbahan, sa ating pamamahay, sa pag Everybody, for example, yun lang respecting each other. Uh, nakikita natin na medyo stress karamihan. And yet, nakaka, nakakatulong tayo kahit na papano. Even to our own examples, sa pakiramay, pakiramay. Actually, alam na natin lahat yun. Inahalong ka lang natin paminsan-minsan para sa ganun, hindi tayo, uh, sabi ko, malunod <laughs> sa pag-iisip na napakalalim na para bang hanggang dyan na lang. No, mali. Kaya nga sabi ng Diyos, sa araw-araw na lang, sa pag-iising mo, makita mo mo ano hindi ang araw, for sure, the whole day, mayroong araw na dumadaan dyan, no? Sa pamagitan ng araw, maraming nabubuhay. Di ba? Gaya kagabi. Ang sarap ng pakaramdam. Ang lakas ng ulan dito sa Manawag. Ilang buwan na kami walang ulan. Ang yes, sabi pag ang init. Isisihin ba natin ang, yung panahon na umulan kagabi? Baka tayo nahirapan. Pero yung halaman, masaya sila. Di ba? Yung mga nagtatanim, naghihintay na lang ulan para magumpisa magtanim. Masaya sila, no? So, kung sa mga bagay na yun, tinitingnan natin something very positive, nagawa po yan ng Diyos, masaya na rin tayo doon. Pilitin natin maging masaya. Pilitin natin to appreciate everything that is going on. Kung medyo tagilid, eh, medyo hindi maganda, eh, kung misan, pagdasal na lang natin kung wala tayong magagawa. Uh, umasa tayo at magtiwala. Yun, kaya yun ang papalakas ng ating pananampaltaya. May, meron tayong tiwala. Hindi lamang sa Diyos, sa ating kapwa, pati na sa ating uh, sarili. Kapag tinanggal mo yung tiwala mo sa sarili mo, ano na mangyayari sa iyo? No? Ano na mangyayari sa iyo at sa Diyos, sa, sa iyo at sa kapwa, sa patiwala ka ng tiwala? No? And yet, laging nandyan yan. Lagi tayong sinusubok, labanan niyang tiwalang yan. And yet, kapag hindi tayo bumigay, ipaglaban natin, eh sabi ko nga, lagi pong may magandang mangyayari. Merong magandang resulta. <laughs> kung wala na tayong tiwala, ano kayo mangyayari? Pwede in-imagine kung bakit ka, paano nga kayo? Okay lang, gaya for example, eh walang bus, hindi tayo pwedeng pumunta sa Manila, Okay lang, pero nung pag may bus na, naku, 
Punta tayo ng punta sa Manila, napakadali. Kasi may tiwala tayo sa driver na makakarating tayo. Good thing mo, yung aeroplano. Bakit tayo sumasakay? May tiwala tayo sa mga pilots and so on and so forth. So, baka, ganun taga ang pakiramdam natin. Ngunit, higit sa lahat, yung pakiramdam natin na ang Diyos ay talagang mabait, yun ang wag natin, yun ang pagyamanin natin. Yun ang kaisa-isang huwag natin alisin sa ating puso at diwa. Hindi lang masabi natin, sigurado na makay- hindi, wala tayong pagkalang kung makatar- makarating tayo sa langit o hindi. For the meantime, nandito sa ay sa lupa, yun ang kailangan. Sapagat yun na nagbibigay lakas, nagpapasigla sa anumang hamon o onos ng ating buhay. Pagsitayo pa tayo. Even the winds and the sea obey the Son of God. With this kind in mind, we can pray confidently for calm in a turbulent world. After his petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may guide the church, especially in the stormy waters that threaten to engulf it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the star of the sea, sailors, fishermen, and all those who earn a living from the sea may be preserved from every danger. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the disabled and those suffering from lingering illnesses may find inner peace in Christ's healing power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of these months. Heavenly Father, may the trials and troubles of life's storm tossed waters purify us and bring lasting peace to our souls. We make our prayer through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Pray with your brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that this, this oblation of the sacrifice made by his grace make us an eternal offering to you through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thank thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a twofold so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, St. Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
Now to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who bless you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to his apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Yes. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Marami pong salamat sa pagkikisa nyo at pagdalo sa banal na misa. Ingat lang po sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan na humihiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o makaiwas sa anumang sakit. Idamay na po natin yung mga sa ating mga tahanan, makakilala natin na hindi makapunta sa simbahan, nakakarating po yan sa kanila sa awa ng Diyos at sa pagdamay natin. Maniwala po kayo. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. So that in the true knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries in other religious articles. If you have damaged you, just bring them out. Huwag na pa ko yung aalis sa inyong pwesto. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, and Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 